IT Pro asks, what's behind the explosion in zero-day vulnerabilities? Thousands of vulnerabilities are discovered each year, but hackers are only able to exploit a sliver of these. When these efforts are successful, however, the consequences are often devastating. While some attacks are opportunistic and rely on businesses failing to apply patches, many occur because hackers unearth and exploit previously unknown vulnerabilities, referred to as zero-day flaws. According to Google's Project Zero, a research team established in 2014 to track these types of attacks, 2021 was by far the worst year on record for zero-day exploits. Of the 200 zero days spotted since 2014, 57 of these were in 2021, in contrast to just 25 in 2020. By some distance, memory issues were at the heart of most exploits, with 141 of the 200 flaws relating to memory corruption. This often comes about when software, inadvertently or intentionally, accesses system memory in a way that exceeds its allocated size and memory addresses. It's a statistic that's hardly moved over the past decade, mainly because memory is a core functionality of a computer, storing data like passwords and other highly sought after information. So what's behind this sudden surge in zero day exploits? There are a number of possible reasons and not all of them necessarily suggest cyber threats are becoming more severe. One possible reason for the sudden explosion in zero days is simply better reporting. For example, both Apple and Android recently began including notes in their security bulletins to show whether a vulnerability may have been exploited. This sort of information has traditionally only ever been available when independent researchers studying the zero days released their final reports. However, there's also the possibility that attackers are relying more on zero day exploits as security and patching policies tighten up. For example, in the case of the Android app Sandbox, this has been steadily tweaked to limit what services an application can request from the operating system, and as such, a new unpatched exploit is now more valuable than ever. Another possible reason for the increase is that workplace cybersecurity policies are now far more common and robust, which either limit employee behavior or increase awareness. This makes less sophisticated attacks, such as tricking someone into installing malware, far less likely to succeed. And so the reliance on novel exploits increases. While the number of new exploits may be increasing, the good news is that they tend to be far less severe than in previous years. If we look at data from the Common Vulnerability Scoring System, a standardized metric used to determine how dangerous an exploit is, the average rating of exploited vulnerabilities has steadily fallen since 2014. Whereas the average CVSS rating was as high as 9 in 2014, represented by a darker red bubble, the average rating fell to 6.66 in 2019 before sustaining a slight uptick year on year to around 7.3 in 2021. This shift could be explained by the fact that software development on the whole is in a much healthier place than ever before. Coding is better and the software development process has been strengthened over the last several years. Is a rise in zero day exploits all bad? While a rise in zero-day exploits may seem alarming, the fact that overall severity is falling means things are arguably looking positive. Researchers at Google's Project Zero have previously argued that the rise could be indicative of a cybersecurity industry that's winning the war, largely because hackers are being forced to switch up their tactics and targets far more often at additional cost. However, surging demand for tools capable of exploiting zero-day flaws has created a new criminal economy. The as-a-service approach has become increasingly popular in recent years, creating fresh challenges for the cybersecurity industry, many of which are yet to be fully understood. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the IT Pro YouTube channel or visit us at our website.